our Class of 2022 co-secretaries. First of all, on behalf of the entire Class of 2022, we would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Brookfield Central's 63rd graduating class. Um, we want to extend our gratitude to all of the parents, family members, and friends for their love and support, as well as the members of Brookfield Central High School faculty and the staff for their guidance and patience. We truly owe you for all that we are. We would like to now present a small token of our gratitude to Mr. Gritzmacher. Thank you for all of your help and kindness over these last four years. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. These past four years have involved some of the most memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here have been unique, but together we share a common bond as we are the members of the class of 2022 and soon to be the graduates of Brookfield Central High School. I am filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage of life is about to begin, but without the support of our parents or guardians and our teachers, we may not have made it to this day. At this time, we would like to please welcome Opal Sharma in leading uh, the Pledge of Allegiance today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome the choir to the stage, please. Choir to the stage.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, right back at you. Appreciate at least someone uh, recognized I started. Superintendent Hansen, um, also pleased that our members of the school board are here. We have a full board today. Scott Wheeler, president. Gene Lambert, vice president. Jin Sun, treasurer. Linda Boucher, clerk. Mushir Hassan, Kathy Lim, and Jen Roscoff. Let's give them a hand, please. Thank you for sharing this special day with us. Esteemed faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the Brookfield Central Class of 2022. It is a privilege and an honor to be on this stage, but yet bittersweet as we come together one last time to say goodbye to this amazing group of people. They're just minutes away from becoming alumni of a great and storied school. It has been 13 years of hard work, of ups and downs, but each of you are ready for your next step in life. A big thank you to Brookfield East Principal Andy Farley, Rich Basil, and the entire Brookfield East facility staff for their tremendous hospitality and for their tireless work on the setup. Let's give them a hand, please. Thank you once again to our partners at Magic Productions for their work today with the amazing lights and sound setup. So can, thank you, Magic. <laughs> Additionally, many staff members helped organize today's ceremony, but two people in particular have checked and rechecked everything. And they are BC Office Manager Evelyn Martin and Student Services Assistant Natalie Ferschel. Thank you, Evelyn and Natalie. Also, thank you to Wendy Castle, Callie Barbeau, and Allison Hickman, and the many talented BC musicians for the amazing music for today. Let's give them a hand. The start was amazing. And throughout today's ceremony, we'll have amazing graphics and video. Thank you to Mary Grace Blake and Caitlin Dominski for their tireless work. Let's give them a hand. Many BC staff members are in attendance today. Thank you for your tireless work and the tremendous care that you provided this year and every year for the students of BC. Please stand for a round of applause. And finally, to our almost 3,000 guests, Thank you, from thank you for coming from near and far today's celebration as we watch 306 amazing people walk across this stage. Thank you and enjoy the day. Good afternoon, Central Class of 2022. Can I have your attention, please, for the graduation announcements? Your civics exam was due Thursday, June 9th. If you haven't completed it, please leave the ceremony immediately. Earlier this week, it was raining at the start of school. Remember, if your wipers are on, your headlights should be on as well. Please remember that the next time it rains, also, please slow down. Senior send-off is tonight, June 12th, 9.30 to 1.30 at Elite Sports Club. The senior send-off, formerly known as graduate Project Graduation, is a BC tradition. It's a safe, casual, fun event for the class of 2022. Fun events for everyone. The famous hypnotists, casino tables, sports, ping pong, swimming, food, raffle prizes, and more. Tickets are still available, $35 at the door. Your final transcripts must be requested through parchment. All colleges and NCAA require a final transcript. You can request a final transcript at any time. Just select Hold for Green. When your final transcripts are completed, they'll be uploaded and sent to colleges. Only final transcripts that are requested will 
will be sent. Be sure to change your email from your school email to a personal email so you can access parchments for years to come. Remember to archive your Elmbrook School's Google Drive. Your email in your Google Drive will be deleted after you graduate. Your access to the Elmbrook Google Drive will stop on June 30th. The instructions are in the senior checklist that I emailed out. of 2022. Remember each day is a gift. Cherish your relationships. Be the same person online that you are in person. Don't spend too much time online. Don't quit a job before you have your next job and choose your friends wisely. There's an old adage, you're the average of the five people you spend the most of the time with. It'll be more important than ever to surround yourself with good people. People who bring out the best in you, and you in return will help them be their best. People who care for you, and that you in turn will care for. People who do the right thing, and will help you do the right thing. Remember, nothing good happens after midnight. Different people have different opinions, and it's important to respect all of them. And keep in mind as you enter new relationships, new communities, new schools, and new workplaces. No relationship is perfect. No community is perfect. No job is perfect. Don't try to find them because they don't exist. Make it your goal to make them their best possible version. Find the good in everything and everyone, and use the words from my childhood minister to guide you as you start your next chapter of your life. He ended each of his services with the following. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to which is good. Render unto no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Whenever we interview candidates for teaching or administrative positions, at the end of our question list, we ask the candidates if they have questions for us. Many of them ask, what are you most proud of at Brookfield Central? My response is graduation day. Not because the year is over, but that doesn't hurt. It is because of the inspiration I receive as I see graduates walk across the stage. Just four years ago, Many of you entered BC unsure of this thing we called high school. I think about what you have done over the past four years, the many challenges that each of you have faced and overcome, the poise and determination I have witnessed on the stage, in the classrooms, on the playing fields, and across all areas of Brookfield Central is truly an inspiration to me and all of us who have had the pleasure of watching each of you grow up the past four years. I am honored to have been part of your BC story. And for one last time, BC class of 2022, remember to search the world for the positives and never, never miss a chance to say thank you. Take care, class of 2022.
Hello, Brad. Hey, Brad. This is Natalie. We're going to start the freshman orientation planning. All right. Sounds good. I'll be right over. Not sure where Mary Grace is sitting, but Mary Grace, stand up. Where is she? There she is. Tremendous job on that video, Mary Grace. It's my pleasure to introduce senior class treasurer Owen Tan for the presentation of the class gift. Owen? Good afternoon, everyone. Fellow graduates, family, friends, and faculty. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Owen Tan, and I've had the privilege of being the class of 2022's treasurer for the past four years. Before I continue, I'd like to give a special thank you to our past and current advisors, Mrs. Lemke and Mr. Hip, as well as my fellow class council members, John V, Caitlin, Mia, Greta, and Opal. Together, we have run countless successful fundraisers to help raise close to $10,000. Our goal was to give something that could benefit the entire BC community. I'm excited to announce that we have done just that. We will be donating two 86-inch televisions for future Lancers to utilize inside of the new library. We will also be planting trees around Brookfield Central to make the campus even more beautiful. Thank you to everyone who has helped to make this possible and congratulations to everyone here today. Thank you, Class of 2022, for the thoughtful and amazing gifts. It's my pleasure to invite BC Class of 22 Class President John V. Hasaria to the podium for her commencement address. John V. All right, guys, can we give it up one more time for the class of 22? Woo! We did it, guys. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all the fen friends, family, and administration for gathering here together on this beautiful day to celebrate such a unifying moment, my speech. You know, as I stand here, the feeling of graduating is hitting a lot harder than I thought it would. I'm currently facing the most talented class of students that Brookfield Central has ever received. You have all excelled in so many ways and accomplished so many incredible things. Like, if there's ever another class with as many collegiate athletes as ours, I feel like the NCAA should be legally required to sponsor our school. And not just in athletics, every member of this class that I've had the privilege of interacting with has just left me completely in awe. Leaving Brookfield Central today is a class that is as diverse as, as it is talented in every field imaginable, from STEM to fine arts, business, law, attacking freshmen with water balloons. You are already doing great things to make this world a better place. And today is a celebration of that. Today, everyone sees you as the bright and shining graduate. They see the smiles, the diploma, and the overall success you celebrate today. While that is true, it's only a small fraction of our story. Truly, this moment would mean nothing if it weren't for the hardships and challenges that have made achieving it so valuable. I mean, just think about all the obstacles we've overcome these past few years. We've overcome COVID, senioritis, mental health, financial issues, social pressure, academic pressure, being in the class group me. But regardless of the challenges, you're sitting here today. And none of us have experienced the same journey or the same successes, but we all have one thing in common. We all have important relationships, whether they be friends, lovers, families, or mentors, that have guided us and helped us overcome these challenges and that have shaped the person who sits in that chair today. Personally, my time as a class president has forced me to realize this. Serving as your president has been one of the greatest honors of my life. It came with a lot of fun experiences. You know, I got met, called Madam President a lot in the hallways. I had the privilege of getting to organize cool class events, and I get to give this speech, but it hasn't always been easy. At each fundraiser, class event, prom, or senior ball, there were always hardships, there were always challenges. Things don't always work out the way you wish they will. I had to learn to make big decisions, and more importantly, learn to know that I will never be able to make everyone happy. 
I'm such a large part of the reason that I'm here, that I've been able to grow, is because of the relationships I've had with my fellow classmates and teachers. Of course, my fellow senior class officers have had my back against any challenge and are always willing to go the extra mile. I couldn't have done this without you guys. I seriously, um, but along with this relationship, I have everyone graduating today, everyone sitting in that chair today to thank. And as we continue onwards to the next chapter of our lives, there'll be plenty of new interactions, relationships, and groups that we will find ourselves creating a place in. I believe that our positive impact as a class within these new communities will magnify from the impressions we have left at Brookfield Central today. I want you all to remember that we are capable of doing great and amazing things. And I hope you see that every relationship thus far has brought more love and value to your life than even the most prestigious award or ranking ever could. So as time goes on, I ask that you not only continue to work hard, stay positive, and celebrate yourselves, but also become the reason someone else can too. And when times get rough, just remember from Hannah Montana, everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days, and just keep pushing forward. Class of 22, it's been a pleasure spending these last few years with you and serving as your president. And from the very, very bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best as we move forward. Love you all, Madam President out. Thank you, John V. Service to one's country is the most noble and courageous act that any citizen can perform. We are blessed in our country that countless people in our nation's great history have always answered the call in a time of need. To our audience members, please stand if you have served our great nation in one of our branches of the military. Please stand for a round of applause. We have six graduates who will be serving our country. I'm proud and honored to recognize the following students for their commitment, and I ask them to come up on stage. U.S. Army, Pablo Guzman, Joseph Kubit, Aaron Edingsas. U.S. Army, come on up. Let's give him a hand. Stay right there, guys. Good. <laughs> United States Marine Corps, Dayhan Morning and Keaton Hummer. Come forward, please. <laughs> Dayhan is actually at Camp Pendleton at basic training already. Let's give Keaton a nice hand. And lastly, United States Air Force, Annalee Fife. Get of the senior orchestra come forward, please.
Thank you, BC Senior Orchestra, for that amazing performance. It's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2022 valedictorians. During his time at BC, he was a member of the Science Bowl, Mock Trial, Rock Climbing Club, and Jazz One. He took 27 honors AP or college courses. His GPA is 4.8, and he'll be attending and studying computer science at the University of Chicago. It's my pleasure to introduce Ben Kim. During his time at BC, he's a, he was a member of the Key Club, DECA, Math Club, Elmbrook Speed Skating Club, and National Honor Society. He took 31 honors AP or college courses. His GPA is 4.8, and he'll be attending and studying computer science and economics at Brown University. It's my pleasure to introduce Kevin New. Before we get into the inspirational portion of our speech, Ben and I would like to take some time to thank and congratulate everyone here today. To the friends, family, and peers that are here supporting a graduate, thank you. Your support, love, and care have helped each and every one of us on our journey, and we would not be here without all of you. You all played such an important role in each of our lives, and we cannot thank you enough for all the care and support. To all the teachers, administrators, and Elbrook School District employees that have been with us over the past 12 years, thank you for your endless support as we have all tried to find our own paths. I know it couldn't have been e always been easy for you, but your support does not go unnoticed. You all have played such pivotal roles in our academic and extracurricular success, and we would like to thank you for your continued support. Finally, to my fellow graduates, we finally did it. We struggled through four years of high school and we're finally on the other side, the brighter side. It was far from easy, but each and every one of us stuck it out, and here we are today. Over the last four years, we have learned and experienced so much. We have begun exploring all the amazing places that education can take us, and along the way, we've made so many memories and lifelong friends. Congratulations to all of you, and we cannot wait to see all the amazing things each and every one of you will accomplish. Now, personally, Ben and I love the idea of a valedictorian speech. I mean, who better to give you advice about life than two people who've had little to no experience with anything? <laughs> We've never filed taxes, signed a lease or mortgage, or bought an insurance plan. I mean, at this point, I can't even sign legal documents on my own behalf. Yet, here we stand, tasked with giving all of you advice that will hopefully change your life forever and motivate you to make the world a better place. And like Kevin had mentioned, I too enjoy the idea of the valedictorian speech. Here I am, standing before you, with a whopping six months of Chipotle under my belt. <laughs> I haven't traveled the world, nor have I sailed any of the seven seas. Instead, I get fed every day, I pay no rent, and I have only just started my Roth IRA. But sure, I'm the guy who's supposed to carry the most wisdom. I might be able to tell you what a synecdoche is or what Photosystem 2 does, but that does not qualify me to give you the best advice you'll ever hear. But hey, I'm always ready and willing to give it a shot, so I, along with Kevin, will give it our best. Even with our minimum amount of life experience, today the two of us, as Ben said, will do the best to give you helpful, long-lasting life advice. Over the past four years, we have set out to find and discover new things about ourselves and where we want to go in the future. We have taken time to plan for the future, granted, some more than others. But the truth is, the real world is a brand new place with surprises that we can never prepare for. It will come with its own set of issues and challenges, and we will each have to face them head first. Much like these past four years, it will be challenging and difficult at times, but I have no doubt that each and every one of you will find success in your own ways. Every challenge we've faced, every new thing we've tried, and every person we've met all comes with a brand new lesson. It's always important to pause and think about what we all experience in the moment. Surprises are not always fated to be negative. There need not be an unhappy ending to all that you encounter. From those challenges, we forge new friendships. From those very same encounters that we once brought us fear, now bring us together. And each step of the way brings something new, something fun, and something exciting into your life. The world is a vast, deep ocean with untold mysteries within it. And all that lies before us now is to dive in. So, as we all take the vital leap into the real world, the only thing I can guarantee you is that life will be unpredictable. 
I mean, just look at the past three years of our lives. We watched the world turn upside down and our lives were taken away from us in the blink of an eye. We went from living our normal lives to not being able to see anyone outside of our immediate family for months over the course of just a few days. We went from sitting in class for seven hours every weekday to spending just half an hour with our teachers on a Zoom call. We went from bustling lunches in the cafeteria to lonely lunches at home. We went from seeing our friends and family every day in person to having to look at them through our screens. We were challenged in ways that our younger selves could never have foreseen. And that's just how life is. Each of us can try and plan out every part of our life, what we want to do, where we want to live, and how everything will turn out. But the truth is, almost all of that is out of our control. But we persevered. We began meeting our friends online. Birthday parties at a house became Among Us games online. And when we could, we even met our friends in person. And some of us even paid attention to virtual classes. Those hopes and wishes for a sophomore spring fling or a normal graduation for the class of 2020 all vanished, yet we made the most of it. And here we are, having done everything this past year that was once held in 2019. The assemblies, the dances, and even to the classes, we've all taken a momentous step closer to what we used to call normality. But sometimes, it's impossible not to regret all that we've missed. We begin to question ourselves with what ifs and if onlys. We all begin to curse COVID, the opportunities that has taken from us, and the new essays it has forced us to write. And even without COVID, we can spend a whole lifetime thinking about what could have happened, what should have happened, and what one could have done instead. So standing here today, what is our advice to you? Cherish every moment. The ones you spend with friends, the ones you spend with family, and importantly, the ones you choose to spend alone. Take nothing for granted. No matter how mundane or novel, enjoy every moment like it's your last, because you never know if it will be. And most importantly, enjoy the roller coaster that is life. As each of you goes on to lead successful careers as doctors, teachers, artists, or wherever else life takes you, remember to enjoy life for what it is. Don't chase after opportunities that will bring you the most economic and social success, but rather the opportunities that will bring you the most happiness and joy. You will no doubt experience your fair share of ups and downs, but that's, again, what life is. We can't control everything and we shouldn't try to. Control what you can control and with everything else, just roll with the punches. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, if life were predictable, it would cease to be life and be without flavor. And always remember, you don't need to be first in every race. You don't even need to be first in any race. There's no need to be the best at everything or anything for that matter. Even though I stand before you, I'm most certainly not the smartest, not the kindest, and I'm certainly not the best apron thrower. Uh, that title, of course, belongs to Jack Schmiedel. Even if you haven't reached the pinnacle of whatever you pursue, take your time and slow down. Acknowledge the compliments, accomplishments you have already made. Acknowledge how far you have come since you've started. Even if you haven't crossed the finish line does not mean you haven't done something commendable. The endeavor in just starting is worth praise. And while you're there, do something kind for yourself and do something kind for others. To quote an arguably more famous individual, Elmo Monster from Sesame Street once said, Elmo thinks it's important to be kind because if you're kind to somebody, then they'll be kind to somebody, and it goes on and on and on. Here today, we stand with the world at our fingertips, where nothing, and I do mean nothing, is out of reach or impossible. None of us can quite predict what lays out there for all of us, but I can ensure you that each and every one of you will find success in all your endeavors. It won't be easy, but we've all persevered through so much, and I know that we will all continue to do so. Some of you will be headed across the country to places unfamiliar, and some of you will be headed to places a half hour drive from where we stand right now. And some of you are even headed to Spain and even Scotland. Just remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and wherever you're bound to be is unique, something never done before, and something new you can offer to the world. So for the last time today, from Ben and me, congratulations and best of luck to all of you in the future. Thank you, Kevin and Ben. The Umberg Education Foundation's mission is to promote educational excellence by providing scholarships and grants to the students and staff of Elmbrook. I greatly appreciate their support that they provide Brookfield Central. 
It's my pleasure to introduce the director of the EEF, Mrs. Beth Dobrzynski. Beth? Good afternoon. My name is Beth Dobrzynski, and I'm the executive director for the Elmbrook Education Foundation. In 1958, three $500 scholarships were awarded to Brookfield High School students by a volunteer group of parent and community members. It has since grown into a community-wide scholarship program made possible through the generosity of honorary and memorial funds, community groups, businesses, and school PTOs. Having the EEF administer this program helps ensure that the greatest number of seniors can be honored by our community each year. The EEF takes great care to select recipients that meet the criteria provided by our scholarship sponsors. Over $1.5 million in scholarships has been awarded to our community's graduating seniors through the Elmbrook Education Foundation. This year, the Foundation, on behalf of our generous donors, awarded 34 $1,500 scholarships and one $5,000 scholarship to students at Brookfield Central and Brookfield East. These students were selected in part because of their commitment to their education, their sincere desire to serve others, and or their ability to overcome challenges to meet personal goals. Please join me in recognizing and congratulating our scholarship winners and wish them well as they continue on their post-graduation journey. Please stand when I call your name and please hold your applause. Sarah Astley, Eleanor Caraggio, Caitlin Deminsky, Jade Epting, Amelia Fernandez, Jeremy Field, Ryan Flatley, Oyoso Ibinijeso, Grace Katsakis, Eva Coomer, Alex Lorcher, Kevin New, Katina Patterson, Chase Peterson, Magdalena Presses, Opal Sharma, Sarah Stam, Sishan Tariq, Ananya Baramachanini, Caitlin Warren, and Naracha Whitlow. Congratulations to this year's Umbrick Education Foundation scholarship recipients. On behalf of the EEF Board of Directors, best of luck to the Brookfield Central High School Class of 2022. Thank you. I'd like to welcome the senior choir to the stage, please.
Thank you, Senior Choir, not only for the music today, but for the music the last four years. Let's give them another hand, please. It's my pleasure and honor to introduce Elmbrook Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mark Hansen. Mark? Thank you, Mr. Gretzmacher. It is a pleasure to be here today. Congratulations to the class of 2022. You have helped shape Elmbrook into a destination district. I would like to thank our Board of Education for their service to the community. Thanks, Scott, Jean, Jin, Kathy, Mushir, Linda, and Jen for your ongoing service and being a guiding force for our community. Also, I want to thank the administration from Brookfield Central for their commitment to excellence. Additionally, the staff from Brookfield Central for their pledge to their great work, that work of being an educator. Thank you for your dedication and devotion to our students, their families, and the entire community. As well, to the parents and families gathering today to celebrate the class of 2022, thank you. Thank you for trusting us with your children. Thank you for being a guide on the side as their journey continues. Finally, to the class of 2022, well done. Thanks for your perseverance as you completed some of the most rigorous academic requirements for graduation in the entire state of Wisconsin. And you did it during some of the most unusual of times. You did it with grace, dignity, patience, and tremendous agility. Today is further evidence that Elmbrook's recipe for academic success is working. Committed parents guiding engaged students who work with incredibly talented staff. This is an amazing community to live, work, and play. The education of our children remains the top priority and we are fortunate to have such a partnership. We are also fortunate to have incredibly talented staff that pour their heart and soul into this thing called school. 
In particular, you have an amazing leader in this school who has created memories for all of you. Thank you to Mr. Gretzbacher for the dedication to our students and families. As you saw, As you saw, and as many of you know, Mr. Gretzmacher has some memorable lines that may be said over the public address system on occasion. I'm going to start the line, and I would like the class of 2022 to finish the statement. Remember, if your wipers are on, your headlights are on, yes. Don't quit a job before you have your next job. A little louder, folks. Come on. Remember to search the world for the there we go. And never miss a chance to? Yeah. Some would argue that might be brainwashing, but we'll go with it. <laughs> in all seriousness, thank you, Mr. Gretzmacher, for being a giant in the field of school leadership. As high schools go, so goes entire communities. And this high school is crushing it right now. Here's the story. I graduated from high school a really long time ago. Being totally honest with all of you, I do not remember anything from any speaker from that day, which means I run the risk of being Mr. Irrelevant. But I hope to offer a few thoughts, maybe some advice, and hopefully a small memory or two. I promise it, won't, it will be brief. I won't drone on. I could probably lengthen this to 30 minutes given the pace we're moving right now, but I was recently reminded that no one is here to remember anything I have to say. I was also told the best thing I could do is sit down. Those of you that know me know that I have a hard time with that. So I hope to offer a few perspectives. First, a celebration of what this class has accomplished. The second item I want to share is a top 10-ish list. That brings me to my first point. Class of 2022, you guys crushed it in every sense. This class has achieved heights unsurpassed in the district from an academic athletic activities and arts perspective. Listen to these accomplishments from the class of 2022. The grade point average for this class, 3.6. Graduation rate, 99.67. 92 percent of you are going on to a two or four year school. 200 This class earned 297 transcripted or dual enrollment credits, which, assuming it's $143 per credit, that's a savings of over $40,000 in tuition avoidance. In addition to that, during their 9th through 11th grade years, the class of 2022 took 279 advanced placement exams with a score of three or higher. Assuming three college credits for each exam at a tuition cost of $1,350, that is over $376,000 in tuition cost avoidance. Your parents, thank you. The class of 2022, number of average credits taken, 26.85. Of the 315 graduates here today, 102 of you graduated with 28 or more credits. 33 of you will graduate with 30 or more credits. One of you will graduate with more than 34 credits. Finally, and as impressive, the Brookfield Central Class of 2022 earned over $1.2 million in scholarships. In addition to that, 83.8% of you took an AP course, and 264 of you took 1,463 courses that have college credit bearing. And finally, six of you committed to serving this great nation. It is clear that you have prepared well for the next part of your journey. 13 years of school helped ready you for your next steps. My best to you as you embark on your journey in life. Bear with me for just a little bit more. As some of you know, I'm a list kind of person. I have a to-do list, a shopping list, a gift idea list, an urgent list, a bucket list, reading lists, lists of passwords, lists of gratitude, and I have a list for you. It is a list that started years ago, has stood the test of time, and may very well be the only thing you remember from this epic superintendent speech. As I wrap up, listen closely, as this is the part you want to remember. 
It will be in the form of a top 10-ish list. Number 10, be excellent. If you have to do something, do it right the first time. Do it right every time. Nothing halfway, ever. Promise? Fingerprints. Remember that you are leaving fingerprints in life. Some are digital, some are personal. Be sure yours are the ones that you are proud of as a person, as a friend, as a son or daughter, and as a citizen of this community and this great nation. Number eight, pay it forward. Always remember that there were a number of people that gave of their time to help you with your growth and development. You got to stand on the shoulders of some amazing people on your journey. Pay it forward as you move through life by giving back to others. Be a hero to someone. Number seven, leave it better than you found it. Regardless of the situations you enter, make them a better place for those that are there now and those that will be there in the future. Number six, Always show up, even when no one is watching. Number five, don't text and drive, don't speed, avoid the use of profanity, and try not to break the law. <laughs> Those are all bad things that usually have bad endings. And so, as to honor my promise of brevity, I'm cutting out four, three, and two, and finishing with the most important. You still with me? Number one, always call home. Don't text them and think that it filled them with joy and love to hear from you via a digital message. Call them and call them often. Stay connected with them and you will find out just how smart they are. They are or will become your best friends. Members of the class of 2022, I trust you will make the most of these opportunities you have been given. Thank you for making the school district of Elmbrook and the communities we serve such great places. You have made for a wonderful year at your school and a wonderful experience in the school district of Elmbrook. Thank you for your leadership, your willingness to serve, and your constant quest to learn. We are a great place to think, to learn, and to succeed thanks to your commitments. Regardless of your next steps in life, college, military, work, or travel, always keep in mind those that contributed to your foundation. Find time to thank those that have had a significant impact on your journey. Thank you again and best wishes. Thank you, Dr. Hansen, for those special words and for your great leadership, your tremendous courage that you exhibited this year and every year. It's my pleasure to introduce Senior Class Vice President Caitlin Deminsky to the podium. Caitlin. Good afternoon, everyone. To start, I would like to say thank you to all of the students, teachers, parents, families, friends, and everyone else here who has made these last four years at Brookfield Central everything that they were. There have been so many people who have helped us through our time here at BC, and we are so thankful for everyone who has contributed to all of the memories that we have made. As the Vice President of the Class of 2022, it is my honor to take this time to reflect with you all on each level of school that we have completed together. Seniors, congratulations, we did it. For 13 years, we have together made our way through this game of education, and today it is finally our graduation day. But before I talk about what it means to be at last graduating, I am going to first take you back 12 years, 12 levels to our first year of school. Kindergarten. Remember kindergarten? Kindergarten was level zero. Level zero, when all we had to worry about were our numbers and letters. When words such as calculus or essay would have seemed like a foreign language. Another critical part to level zero was nap time. The rules for nap time were simple. Roll out your sleeping mat, stay quiet, and try to fall asleep. Though even back in kindergarten, Many of us believed that we had cheated the nap time game, stubbornly keeping our eyes open so that we could later exclaim in pride, not me, I didn't fall asleep. Eventually, a full year passed and we were ready for a new challenge, level up. Welcome to level one. Levels one through five, our elementary years of life, were filled with discoveries of how the world worked. 
We learned how to make friends, and we learned which subjects we liked the best. Our days in these early levels were spent sitting on colorful carpet squares, waiting until it was finally our turn to be star of the week, attending theme class parties for every major holiday, bringing cookies or cupcakes for our classmates on our birthdays, and taking yearly field trips to the Nature Center. Level three, for many of us, presented us with the challenge of making new friends or transitioning to a new school as the closing of Hillside caused many changes within the district. In the upper levels, we played the game of trying to achieve the highest reading level possible. We got to join band or orchestra and pick which instrument we liked the best. We got the pleasure of taking our first map test and running our first pacer, and each year we waited in excitement for high interest day. In level five, we were proudly the kings and queens of the school, finally the oldest kids in the building. We got our first shots at being celebrities by starring in Bobcat Broadcast or the Swanson Student News. Level up. Level six brought so many different changes. A new school, switching classes, and lockers that actually had locks with combinations. We were no longer bobcats or eagles, we were wildcats, and we were sorted into houses alpha, beta, or gamma. We got new electives. We made candy dispensers out of mason jars and tech ed, and got to experiment with recipe after recipe in foods. In gym, for the first time, we were required to change and we now not only had to run the pacer, which had become longer, but an eight lap mile around the track in the back parking lot too. Level up. In level seven, we moved upstairs. We no longer had a floor to ourselves, but we were also no longer the babies of the school. We had started to get used to the rhythm of middle school, to the early 7-18 start time and the more challenging academics. We made our first Rube Goldberg machines and we were able to discover the art of learning a new language. Level up. Level eight flew by. Before we knew it, we were performing in our last middle school concerts, running our last track meets and cross country races, and playing our last game of over the top in gym. Anyone in Mr. Losey or Mrs. Michalowski's eighth grade social studies class finally turned in their last dreadful AOW. Then it was eighth grade graduation, I'm sorry, promotion, and it was time for us to become Lancers. Level up. Level nine, freshman year. Level nine brought us our first school dances, our first homecoming, our first Friday night football games, and our first time hearing the upperclassmen chant, go home freshmen. <coughs> we felt the stress of our first exam week and of our first time trying out for a spot in the school musical or on a varsity sports team. By the end of level nine, we were anxious for level 10, ready to be sophomores just so that we were no longer freshmen. Level up. Level 10 started with more freedom. Most of us turned 16 and received our licenses, now able to drive to school on our own. The year was moving along. Boys soccer won state, and the theater department put on their production of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But then, March 13th, 2020, the pandemic. We went home for what we all thought was going to be two weeks. Only two weeks turned into 12. Level 10 challenged us. It introduced us to virtual learning, to classes taught on Zoom. School occurred from our bedrooms, sports seasons were cut short, and social interactions were minimal. The school year slowly faded away into summer. Level up. By level 11, we were back in school, required to wear masks and stay six feet apart from our classmates. Three-fourths of the year went by before our teachers ever saw our faces. Nevertheless, we were happy to be back with each other and excited to be upperclassmen. It was during level 11 that many of us took our first ACT and began our college search process. Towards the end of the year, we hosted Mr. BC and in under a month pulled off our own prom. <coughs> level up. Level 12, senior year, the last level. It started with the sunrise at Mitchell Park and quickly turned into a whirlwind of college applications and choosing what we were going to do with our lives after high school. In level 12, we got our first and only powder puff game and our own spirit weeks for each dance. In between semesters, we attended senior ball. We also attended our last homecoming and our last football games. This past week was our last time putting our phones in the phone caddies that we all love so much and our last time having to take attendance and our last time hearing grits remind us to never miss a chance to say thank you. And now we are here, 
about to complete level 12 in just a few moments by moving our tassels from the right side of our caps to the left. 13 levels, done. Congratulations, we won. This first game of education completed. Whatever you all are going to do next year, whether it be attending a university, working, serving our country, or taking some time off, you are starting over. It is time to make new memories. It is time to reach for new levels and discover all of the places that you can go in life. Starting as soon as the last name is read and the last student is handed their diploma is a new beginning, a brand new game. Welcome to level one.
Not sure where, he's, where she's sitting, but uh, Caitlin Deminsky, please stand. Uh, Caitlin uh, put together that video and the slide deck for today. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Students who will be receiving an honors diploma today are wearing a gold cord and will have his or her logo in gold on their screen when they walk across the stage. Students must have a cumulative GPA of 3.5, must have taken six or more honors, transcripted, and AP courses in order to qualify for the honors diploma. 40% 40, 40 of our graduates today achieve that status. Let's give them a hand. I'm proud to introduce our diploma ceremony readers for today. Mr. Ron Blaha. And for her last time, as she rides off into her retirement, Mrs. Honore Shiro. Miranda Effort. Timothy Agian. <laughs> Jacob Alexis. Andvith Aravati. <laughs> Timothy Arvan. Shriram Arvind. Sarah Astley. Samantha Ayer. Kyle Bacon. Marissa Bear. Sarah Balding. Arav Barde, <laughs> Sheila Barker, <laughs> Nicole Bellevue, <laughs> Thomas Benning, <laughs> Christian Betchner. Madeline Bug Hoffman, Cooper Black, Mary Grace Blake, Robert Bloom, Jacob Bohancheck. Nathan Bonilla, Kaylee Borkowski, 
Sarah Batova. Kate Brady. Benjamin Bratina. Anthony Braun. Madeline Braun. Grace Brown. Simon Brown. Nathan Brummer. Elizabeth Brusky. Kayla Budish. Samantha Berkowitz. Julia Kao. Julian Carvalho. Alita Chambers. Catherine Chu. Timothy Christman. Brianne Colburn. Kendall Conrad. Caitlin Coombs. Eleanor Caraggio. Megan Cotro. Aiden Crane. Jessica Crivello. Victoria Crivello. Audra Chekowitz. Nolan Damith. Morgan Doherty. Jacob Davey. Jacob Davey. Julia Della Pena. Cameron Deshotels. Keely Devine. Christopher Dahlhopf. Caitlin Dominski. Megan Donahue. Sean Doyle. Vedant Ebenezer. Ethan Eberhardt. Aaron Eddingsass. Dimitri Edens. James Ellis. Jade Epting. Eli Eppel. Maxwell Estrada. Melissa Fairbanks. Madison Fanning. Amelia Fernandez. Maya Farah.
Jeremy Field. Maya Fields. Ryan Flatley. William Florzak. Madeline Foley. Willow Foy. Analia Fife. Alina Gray. Joseph Geringer. Misty Gerber. Elizabeth Geske. Jaina Gurria. Daniel Gibson. Ainsley Gilson. Jada Gall. Ethan Gonzalez. Logan Grunwald. Connor Gustafson. Kelsey Guy. Aiden Guzman. Pablo Guzman. Jolea Hall. Cade Hammond. Alicia Hamilton. Michael Hankinson. John V. Hansaria. Isabella Hansen. Serenity Hardy. Amelia Hayward. Kyle Heckers. Caleb Hayden. Clara Hickey. Forrester Hip. Fiona Hirsch. Megan Hodgson. Noah Hoffman. Stephanie Hoffman. Maxwell Sue. Anna Huang. Haley Hummel. Keaton Hummer. Hannah Huntley. Aiden Hussar. Jonah Husslein. Stephen Hutton. Uyosa Ibinijesu. Griffin Igelski. Margaret Jamboy. 
Aliyah Janinga. Dominic Gennaro. Brooks Jensen. Abigail Kaepernick. Erica Kaepernick. Kendall Connitz. Jordan Karch. Samarth Karodi. George Kensikas. Grace Katsikas. Gabrielle Kay. Tatum Kibisik. Omkar Kekane. Rebecca Kildu. Benjamin Kim. Anna Knudsen. Patrick Kolb. Sumanth Kota. Merrick Cotterly. George Katsonis. Damon Krizak. Joseph Cubit. Eva Coomer. Emily Lachance. Connor Lang. Luke Langnar. Kara Larson. Jalen Lazarski. Madison Lazarski. Woon Wee Lee. Jack Lukak. Allison Lewis. Olivia Lewis. Mai Lu. Michael Long. Alexander Lorcher. Cynthia Liu. Gianni Mack. Michael Mader. Nevada Mahesh. Chloe Malloy. Maxwell Mandela. Ashe Mardikar. Ty Martin. Gage Matthews. Ayushi Moria. Mallory McGuire. Malia McMath. Aubrey McNabb.
Andrew Meter. Zachary Mehring. Veda Menon. Joshua Mercado. Brandon Marino Reyes. Annalise Merritt. Caitlin Melmans. Jacob Myers. Grace Micklow. Adam Miller. Ava Miller. Brady Miller. Alexis Milton. Reed Miner. James Merzberger. Tanya Mishra. Ethan Moa. Nahal Musavi. Elena Mueller. Alexandra Mueller. Matthew Miller. Andrew Mum. Bennett Murray. Jennifer Nedelinski. Nishant Nambuthri. Connor Nash. Matthew Nelson. Luke Nigaman. Kevin New. Alexander Newstead. Phoebe Olson. Micah Olveda. William Otten. Kenzie Owens. Katina Patterson. Davis Peacock. Caleb Perry. Lily Perzik. Isaac Peters. Alexander Peterson. Bryn Peterson. Chase Peterson. Claire Plummer. Magdalena Pressus. Abigail Prudlow. Andrew Prudlow. Alino Presco. James Purnell. Yeah. 
Nora Pertel. Sophia Quinn. Radhika Ramesh. Miranda Ramirez. Sean Reagan. Ainsley Regner. Elizabeth Richter. Lily Ridgeway. Justin Robinson. Isabel Rodriguez. Jade Roger. Raina Rogney. Andrew Rohde. Caleb Rondorf. Jack Rosenbecker. Andrew Rossi. Marissa Roth. Sarah Rubenstein. Lily Rudek. Austin Rumberg. Abigail Ryan. Alicia Said. Ari Saxena. Ryan Skopkins. Katherine Schmidt. Kayla Schmidt. Grace Schnabel. Andrew Schultz. Isabella Schultz. Emily Schultz. Jillian Schwallenberg. Abigail Schwartz. Sukvir Sarah. Isha Shah. Kai Shack. Opal Sharma. Iman Sharwani. Kaya Shaw. Rahul Sharagar. Marley Sherman. Shahir Siddiqui. William Siegeworth. Harshman Sihara. Sophia Siraj. Nicholas Skog. Brooke Smidel. Trenton Smith. Samuel Sinsala. Greta Stalter. Sarah Stam.
Jackson Steffen. Alexandra Streit. Jack Strobel. Christy Sun. Ajay Surindran. Gavin Tacky. Ainsley Taipala. Owen Tan. Andre Tarakanov. Zishan Tarik. Catherine Tadachek. Gabriel Thistle. Spencer Thomas. Randy Tice. Jack Tinnen. Stephen Tipton. Preston Tran. Lily Tull. Bryn Valuk. Ava Vanderblumen. Emily Vang. Carter Van Heren. Emily Vanzalo. Ryan Vargas. Caden Vaughn. Ananya Vera Makani. Matthew Vies. Eric Vieira. Robert Volmar. McKenna Vrainy. Lillian Walbrun. Tanner Wallen. Benjamin Warren. Caitlin Warren. Isabella Weber. Malena Weber. Madison Wellsmith. Luke Wenzel. Morgan Weicker. Nirasha Whitlow. Victoria Willis. Matthew Wimmer. Finley Wistrom. McKenna Wooker. Katie Zhang. Taylor Yang. Ava Jurgens. Miriam Eunice. Margaret Zierker.
Lord. I'm sweating a storm up. Members of the class of 2022, at this time, I ask that you please stand. It is through the powers granted to me from the superintendent and the Board of Education from the School District of Elmbrook that I declare that you have successfully met the graduation requirements outlined by the state of Wisconsin and the School District of Elmbrook. I ask you to move your tassel to the left to signify your graduation status. <laughs> Parents, family, friends, I present to you the Brookfield Central High School Class of 2022. Thank you for sharing this special day with us. Parents and guests, please remain in your seats during the recessional. Have a fantastic and safe summer. Take care. <laughs>